want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, unto the men that are prophesying and laboring in this doctrine and in this in this truth. Unto you, I say shalom. This is kind of a big deal, all right? What took place Friday um, with the Silicon Valley Bank shutdown and, um, you know, people not able to get their money where they have to wait till Monday to get their money. And this more than likely is going to be an ongoing thing with several small banks until it, until it you know, begins to happen with the larger banks. But what this, with these type of events are going to cause, they're going to cause a panic amongst the people. All right, people are going to be taking their money out of the banks or looking to take their money out of the banks, you know, making bank runs. It's going to have people on edge, all right, to a certain degree. But Jake really ain't going to get it until it's too late. All right, this is this should be a warning, a stern warning to Jake to, to you know, of course, your money's not going to save you. All right, we know that. We believe that. But two-thirds of our people, these niggas out here, they think that, you know, having money, it, it, that's going to be a defense for them. In, in the time of Jacob's trouble, in the time of, of, of um, you know, in, in the time of, uh, you know, anarchy, in the time of, of, of sedition, in the time of, you know, uh, um, race riots and, and war, money, your money is not going to save you. All right. You, you niggas chasing the bag that that that's going to be to your destruction. All right. Because it's going to come to a point. Uh, it's going to come to a point to keep that bag that you niggas is chasing. You're going to have to get a device attached to the bag, all right? So, and we know all know what that device is, that MOTB, that see him, all right? So, these, all these little, these small events are just going to snowball into a larger event, which is going to come in the form of this, this shutdown, this reset. This is all a part of the reset, all right? And, and you know, this is, hey, this is only the beginning, all right, it's, it's with these banks. These banks is going to eventually shut down. They're not going to have your money. And think about, and the one way to fuck with Jake, really anybody, all right, you mess with their money, okay, where they're not able to access their money. And, you know, look how when, when uh, like, some of these bank apps are down. People, hey, people about to bug out. They on the phone calling customer service, and, hey, it, it's, a, it's a big deal when you mess with people's money because you you ultimately messing with their livelihood, all right? But those that follow and believe in your how about Shema Rashai, we don't got nothing to be worried about because we know that money is not going to save us. All right. Abundance of money. OK, it's not going to save us from the calamities. OK, it's not going to save us from the enemy coming in like a flood. All right. Money is money won't save you. And that's what Jay got to realize. A nigga think that, you know, I got money. I'm straight. I can I, I, I can buy food. I can, you know, buy protection. Your money is not going to save you. A nigga like Floyd Mayweather, LeBron James of the world, these athletes, these entertainers. Their money won't save them, okay? Hey, them niggas have, you know, they, they bank with Chase and Wells Fargo and, and Bank of America, and they got, you know, accounts. So when it happens to them, when it happens to us, it's going to happen to them too. They may have some cash on hand, but when the cash is not worth anything, now what? All right? When, when you have to barter things, okay? And, and JK ain't thinking that far. But let me get into this article you know, and I'm going to pull out some precepts and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect. It said the FDIC said said in an announcement that, it, excuse me, insured depositors will have access to their deposits no later than Monday. So by by by, by the time Monday goes around, this bank is, is 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 they may not have the assets to cover all the all, all the people's money. And this bank is uh well, Silicon Valley Bank. And we know that a, that's a lot of tech companies. Um, in Silicon Valley that where you have whether they're investors whether they're employees they got you know they probably have some money you know a, a decent amount of money in these banks or you know and they're not going to be able to get it all out all right you, people would naturally think like damn this bank went belly up let me go try to get all the money I can out of it but you know some of these tech companies or, or, or these tech gurus whatever you want to call them they got more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars in this specific specific bank all right um, it reads, let me go down to the article. It says, financial regulators have closed Silicon Valley Bank and taken control of its deposits in Federal Deposit Insurance Corp announced Friday in what is the largest U.S. bank failure since the global financial crisis more than a decade ago. And this is going to be an ongoing thing. All right. With these smaller banks that are subsidiaries of the larger banks, 
and eventually it's going to trickle down to the larger banks that that's going to start to you know uh, 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 eventually close. Okay, but but by the time they close, you ain't going to be able to get all your money out of there. Okay, and your money by that by then the dollar is being devalued. Is it, money ain't going to be worth shit anyway? All right. Says so according to the press, press release from regulators, the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation closed SVB and named the FDIC as receiver. The FDIC is, in turn has created a deposit insurance national bank of Santa Clara, which now holds the insured depositors from SVB. And let me go. They have, they have a chart right here. I'll read. I'll continue to read them. You're going to see the chart of the assets that this bank holds. It says uh, the FDIC said in an announcement that insured depositors will have access to the deposit no later than Monday. SVB's branch office will also reopen at that time at that time under control of the regulator. So you people probably lined up right now waiting for Monday to come. All right. Imagine that you 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 know, it's Friday and you go into the bank and they say, we ain't got your money or we ain't going to have your money until Monday. All right. So. People are, you know, I'm pretty sure those people are re really haven't panicked yet, but eventually it's going to it's going to come to a point where the, these type of situations are going to be happening ra happening rapidly, where you're not going to have enough time to go down and, and and make a bank run or go to the ATM. Look what's taking place over in um, Nigeria. I did a lesson on it a few weeks ago where they're pretty much forcing the CBDC, the central. Um, with a, a, a central, with a central digital bank, on, on these people where they're not able to access cash. It says everything going, everything is going digital, and we all know what that leads to. Okay, that that everything going digital is going is leading to that MOTB. All right, and in several other countries where um, these banks, these financial institutions, they don't have the people's money. Where one where one lady had to rob the bank for her own money. That's how that's how bad it's going to get. But it's going to get worse here in America because these American people they they they, they trust in they trust in uh, the U.S. dollar. They trust in these banks when they have they have millions upon millions of dollars, um, you know, deposited in these banks. But they're telling you you got a million dollars in the bank or over a million dollars, but your your money is only insured for two hundred fifty thousand. That makes no sense, you know. But but you know these these people that have money like that they got money in multiple banks. Okay, but at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to go to all these banks and get your money out. All right, that's what's going to send people into panic. And when people can't get their money, motherfuckers is going to get violent, straight up. All right, it ain't no way around it. it ain't no way around uh, the violence that's to come to America. All right, this is going to cause uprising to the people. People are going to be standing out here protesting in front of these banks, and eventually they're going to just go, things are going to get physical. All right, hey, and and that's going to get to a point where the police are not going to be be able to protect these financial institutions or, or or whatever. All right, because they got money in these banks also. All right, I'm gonna read a little bit more. Then I'm gonna, you know I want to hit this chart, go to this chart, and then I'm gonna pull out some precepts. The FDIC standard insurance coverage of two hundred fifty thousand per depositor per bank for each account ownership category. The FDIC said uninsured depositors will will get get receivership certificates from of their balance the regulator said it will pay uninsured depositors an advanced dividend within the next week with a potential additional dividend payment as the regulators sell SVB's assets so one another bank may buy it but till then they, they, they're going to basically get an iou whether depositors with more than two hundred fifty thousand ultimately get all their money back will be determined by the amount of money the regulators get as it sells Silicon Valley assets to a, oh, assets or if another bank takes ownership of the remaining assets where there were concerns in the tech community that until that process unfolds some companies may have issues making payroll so it's a chain reaction of events where you have a tech company that has you know invested in this bank and they and they have to pay and they have to pay their employees so if their employees don't get their money, you know, hey, it's a chain reaction event where the the the, the tech company is is you know uh, going up to the bank, you know, checking on their assets. All right, but it, it, they they might as well stand in line because that that you know, everyone that is everyone that has money invested in this bank is going to be out there trying to deposit as much funds as they can from that bank on, on, on come Monday. 
All right. And this is why I said this is going to be an ongoing thing. This is not just a one time thing where you got a big bank like Bank of America buys this bank and then everything is all good. No, because all the banks are going under. It's just a matter of time before the devil pulls the trigger on us, before the devil Esau, that the international bankers, the Rothschilds, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the ones that pretty much they, they run these banks, the international bankers, before they say, you know what, we're not going to bail you out. Let, let, let the system fail. And when the system fails, that's when the shit is really going to get back. All right. First the money and then all the resources and then and everything's going to be in the shits here in America. And it's going to get and th these things have been happening and taking place all over the world. But when it hits America, it's going to hit hard. That's what we always say. I mean, Lord, the Lord is saving America for, 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 for the worst, the worst destruction. All right. Um, so I just want to let me go down to this. The biggest bank failure since 2021, Washington Mutual. Which end up eventually being Chase, okay? Uh, Chase bought them. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank. This is the second biggest. It's, they have uh, two hundred and twelve billion in assets and one hundred and seventy three dollars uh, billion dollars. Excuse me, two hundred and twenty two hundred and twelve billion dollars in assets and only uh, one hundred and seventy seventy three million uh, billion in uh, uh, deposits. All right, but I'm pretty sure. They don't have that 173 billion on hand to to, to give out to these uh, uh, their their um, uh, their customers. Okay, this SVB was a major bank for venture backed companies, which were already under pressure due to high interest rates and slowdown, and a slowdown for initial public offerings that made it more difficult to raise additional cash. The closure of SVB would impact not only the deposits. But also credit facilities and other forms of other forms of financing. The FDIC said loan customers of SVB should continue to make their payments as normal. So the, if, if if the the bank goes under, why should I continue to pay them? All right, they're only saying that because of a figure another bank's going to buy them. But still, it, eventually everything is going to hit the fan. Shit's going to hit the fan here in America, and it's going to you know, and the money is going to be one of the starts of it. Okay. And not 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 to not to mention all the other calamities and all the other plagues that are going to come that are going to eventually come to this place. All right, so let me start off with um, Second Ezra's uh, nine, and uh, I'm going to start at the top, points in three. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the science past that I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and this is for sure going to, if, if these events like this, bank closures, smaller bank closures continue to happen rapidly across the uh, America, you're definitely going to have uprising. You're definitely going to have an increase of crime, and, and if things can will and can get out of hand pretty pretty fast, that's what you're looking. That's what you're looking forward to. Okay. And, and Jake, these dumb niggas think that, you know, oh, I got the bag and, you know, I got money and, you know, I'm going to be straight and I'm going to go stack, I'm going to go stock up at Costco. And, man, at the end, that, that shit is not going to save you. A nigga could be sitting in the house with uh, toilet paper and top ramen and, uh, 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 um, you know, stacks of that shit and still get taken out by a, guy, uh, a disease. Okay? That, that, just because you got the supply, that don't mean that you're going to be safe. That doesn't mean that that don't mean you good, all right? You, hey, what's what's gonna get you through this is your faith, all right? Your faith in your how about shot and your and your belief in this truth, all right? You really have to believe this truth, if, you know, if you if you want to make it, all right? You got to believe in your how about shot that he is a yeah, he's gonna reward it of them that diligently seek him. And how do you seek the Lord by following his law, statutes, and commandments, calling upon his name? It could be a nigga, and it could be like I always say it could be a nigga or some Edomites. You know that it, a lot of these Edomites are preppers. They have these type of things, but you know, to to, to you know, so called to you know, live off grid for months or years at a time, and that they still won't be safe. They that that that, that having those supplies and all that shit that's not going to save them, okay? Because the Edomite can't be saved anyway. But at the end of the day, it could be a nigga that got all that you know prepper shit. They ain't going to be saved either, all right? Unless they got the spirit of the Lord on. Let the spirit of Yahweh and Yahushua. Is um, ultimately dealing with them. All right. Um, let me grab this Ezekiel uh, seven. 
7 and 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets. Their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not be satis They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels because of the stumbling blocks of their iniquity. So all these niggas that got this money, they got money in the bank, they think they're good. What happens when you can't get that money out? What happens when, you know, uh, um, all the banks is closed and they don't know when they're going to open it? All right. And, and <laughs> what are you going to do? A lot of these niggas are going to depend on the government. They're going to search and seek Esau for counsel. All right. And, and, and yeah, Esau is going to make you niggas suffer. But he, then he's going to come with his counsel and his counsel is going to come in the form of that MOTB. This is, um, yeah, Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that cover the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So when it's all said and done, two-thirds of our people, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to trust in the shadow of Egypt, all right? They're going to be looking for this devil to save them, to, uh, uh, you know, help them and assist them any way they can, okay? Because they believe in Egypt. They believe in the U.S. dollar. They believe in 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 in, in this devil, okay? They, they you know, they... <laughs> You know, they won't seek after the Lord. They won't seek counsel from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They're going to seek unto this devil, all right? And you can see it. You, you can see not just the, the athlete niggas, all right, who Esau is going to use as puppets to try to push their New World Order and, and push their MOTB, but the average nigga in the hood, all right? The average nigga that, that, that drives by the camps and sees us out there prophesying, they're the ones that's going to, you know, that the scoffers, they're the ones that's really going to seek after this devil, in that time of the, in that time of uh, the calamity, this is uh, Zechariah chapter one and verse eighteen. Kind of uh, you know says kind of the same thing. Um, excuse me, Zephaniah. Actually, I could start up Zephaniah. Zephaniah one. And uh, let's see. Um, I started at fifteen. Uh, I started at fourteen. The, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The day, the day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities, against the high towers. I will bring distress upon men. They shall walk like blind men because they have they have sinned against the Lord. They they're gonna walk like blind men because they don't got the spirit. All right, they they're gonna walk like um, a, a blind man going to and fro trying to seek the truth, trying to seek answers. Okay, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as dung. So it's gonna be a lot of judgment that's gonna take place here in America, mainly all all all, all throughout the world, but mainly here in America. Verse 18, the point that neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the time, in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. He for he shall even shall, shall, it's like it, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. The Lord's going to make quick work of you niggas, man. All right. It says your, your gold and your silver, your money will not be able to save you. Your, the gold and silver can't save Esau. Okay, so what makes you think it's going to save you niggas, man? All right, Esau got all the money in the world, and, and, and all the money in the world is not going to stop them Russians, them uh, the EU, okay, uh, uh, Iran, China, North Korea, North Korea from shooting them missiles on this place, okay? So they got all the money. They can make all the deals they want. It's not still not going to save Esau. So what makes you niggas think your money's going to save you? This should be a wake-up call to you, Jakes, man. All right? Like, damn, they didn't shut down a bank. Like, oh, the Jake, Jake's not thinking like, damn, you know, uh, uh, you know, what do I got to do? To, so not necessarily this won't happen to me, but I'm, I'm prepared when it does happen because it's going to happen. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. All right. What does your righteousness consist of? You fall on the law, set and the commandments to the best of your ability, treating your fellow brother like a brother. All right. You know, being brother, you know, uh, um, 
you know, but it said, riches profit not in the day of wrath. And the day of wrath is amongst us. It's coming. All right. And the Lord's wrath is going to come amongst his people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans first. Okay. Riches profit not. So you nigga think he rich. Nigga think he doing something. He got money. That's going to be a lot of these niggas downfall. Their, their, their thirst and their, their love of money. Okay. Their, their love of prosperity. Okay. The Lord ain't, man, the Lord is not with that shit. Real, what, are the, what are the real riches? When the prophet, I mean, excuse me, when the scriptures speak of real riches, where, where are the real riches? The real riches are, is this wisdom, this knowledge, okay? This truth, that those are the real riches. Those are the riches that are able to save your soul, are able to save you from this destruction. This is Proverbs chapter 23 and 4. Labor not to be rich. Cease from my own wisdom. Will thou set thy eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as eagles towards the heaven. And that's exactly what's going to take place when these, when these devils shut down these banks. These niggas got, I got money in the bank. I got this. I got, I got a stack. You know what I mean? Niggas taking pictures. You know, niggas take pictures with the, with the, with the, with the, uh, the stack of hundreds with like a phone. You know, that, that old nigga shit. Because at the end of the day, the bank is going to shut down. All right? But your money, your stacks, your bands ain't going to be worth shit. Okay, it is going to be a, a, nothing but a paperweight, all right, because the dollar is being devalued. Okay, and, and, and once that hyperinflation, once that hyperinflation kicks in, you niggas is going to be using that whole that, that whole stack of money to to buy yourself some bread and some milk. All right. Um, let me grab this. Let me go back to Second Ezra chapter uh, fifteen, and I'm gonna start at verse fourteen. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw not. One people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. And, and this is one of the end, it's going to be one of the end results of the the the, the money the money collapse. All right, people mounting up with, with, with guns. All right, taking matters into their own hands. All right, you, you know, Edomites is the ones that's really going to kick it off because they got, they, they're the ones that really got the money in these banks. These motherfuckers got millions of dollars, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in these banks. They ain't got no money. All right, the majority of the Jakes got maybe a few thousand in the bank if that. Okay, but these Edomites, they're going to tear shit up. They're going to break in these banks. They're going to, you know, they're going to take their guns. They, they're going to exercise their Second Amendment rights and, and tear shit up. All right, for there should be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes nor their court and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So I'm just, you know, I'll um, leave it right there. But, hey, <laughs> that's what's going to take place. It's going to be a snowball effect of events that's going to, uh, uh, you know, really um, kick, this, kick this Jacob's trouble off. All right, and, and really, uh, in Esau's mind, kick off their new world order, the beginning of their new world order. But we know that you know they're not going to fulfill it. They're going to come close. All right, they're going to you know, you know, see hip a bunch of people, but they they not going to fulfill it because they elect are the ones that's not going to uh, uh, you know give in. All right, this is uh, Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, not no goddamn money. All right, wisdom and knowledge is going to keep you stable. All right, and, and you, they they're going to realize the money is dwindling away as we, at, you know, every day, every day the dollar is being devalued. You have you know these countries that are not dealing with the dollar anymore, not trading in the dollar. Okay, they're using uh, currencies that are backed by gold and, and um, you know, and, 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 and a tangible substance. Okay, you can't get. You know, you know, Nixon, I forgot about 73, 72, Nixon took the gold standard off the dollar where you were able to go into uh, uh, the bank and get, you know, let's say you had $5 or $5 worth of gold or silver or whatever it was. You can't do that shit now. All right. Um, let me grab this because I was thinking of treasures before. What are the real treasures? Uh, uh, this knowledge is wisdom. Okay. This is Matthew chapter uh, 6 and 19. It's, and it reads, lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doeth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal all right and, and jake in this world they they you know their treasures you that's their money okay that's their wealth that's their 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 you know um really that's jake's comfort zone as long as they got some money they, they good all right but lay yourselves treasures in heaven where 
neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where for for where your treasure is, there uh, will your heart be also. So, you know, you can't serve the most high in mammon, all right? You got to pick one, okay? And, and you got to store your treasures up in heaven, all right, with the heavenly father. Nigga ain't going to rob the most high. Ain't, ain't, can't, you can't close down the bank of your Shah, okay? Um, see, I got one last scripture. I'm going to jump back to uh, 2 Ezra 9, and I want to read verse 7. Uh, what is this? Verse 15. Second Ezra is nine and seven, and everyone that shall be saved shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Works, excuse me, works and faith. Okay, that that's what's that's what's going to save you. Not no damn money. All right. So Jay got our people got to realize that yeah, we need money to uh, you know operate in this society, but it ain't. <laughs> And money ain't gonna make you or break you, you know, when it, when it, when the time comes. When the time comes, this knowledge and this wisdom is, is is what really matters. Okay, this knowledge and this wisdom, having faith, and, and your righteous works is what's gonna get you by. It's what's gonna save you, not no money. Okay, so this should be a wake up call to you, Jake's man. This is this should this is this is this is a big deal. Okay, where where, where Jake see an article like this and just don't think nothing of it, shit, they shut down a bank where people are out there shit trying to get their bread and, and you know the bank is telling them come back Monday shit <laughs> had that been a bank where, where, where Jake got all their money and shit niggas would have been niggas would have been would have tore that shit up man but that's what's coming that that's you know as things get worse and worse and worse Esau is going to hit you with this and, and it's really the Heavenly Father because the, 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 this devil is a sword of the Heavenly Father and you're just going to see shit get worse and worse and worse but for those that have the spirit, for those that, you know, have, have this knowledge and wisdom, those that are striving in this truth to get right with the Heavenly Father, we're going to be all right. Yeah, we're going to have to go through it, too. Yeah, they're going to, you know, close our accounts or, you know, you know, hold our money hostage. Oh, well, man. So what? Okay? You know, hey, whatever they take from us, the Lord said he's going to give us to us a hundredfold. And this ain't even real money. All right? So, Lord willing, this, le this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise and glory. In honor unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Yahweh Kadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.